Hello guys, today we are going to create a seamless fitting pattern in Photoshop. Now this tutorial is going to be a different from the previous one that I have done on this channel. And the reason is that I am going to use a new feature that is available in Photoshop 2021. I think it was not available previously uh, on the other versions, on the previous versions. Now this technique can be used uh, with any kind of graphics, photos or even texts uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to use images of cats uh, because I wanted to show you that you can create an interesting collage style pattern design and that is going to be a repeating or seamless pattern which means that there will be no visible seams or edges in the pattern so let's get started so here I have opened up a cat image that I got from Unsplash and then uh, I'm going to first isolate it and um, there are different techniques that you can use to isolate the images but um, I'm just going to roughly isolate the face of this cat so I'm going to use this lasso tool and if it is not visible by default you can click on this tool and there might be other tools visible so you need to select this freehand lasso tool or the simple lasso tool and I'm going to create a boundary around the face of this cat like this now I need to uh, feather this boundary so I can just right click and select feather amount and I'm using a 50 radius for this purpose uh, you can use any of the radius and uh, you know depending upon your uh, images so let's click OK and now I'm going to right click again and select layer wire copy now our face of the cat is now isolated simply without any kind of background so this is how you can isolate the images if you have images of your pets maybe or you have images of certain objects flowers or any kind of elements so this is the rough uh, way of isolating the images and because I am going to making a collage I don't want to see any kind of hard edges and that's why I am I have used that fixed 50 pixels with the radius so I'm going to open up few more images here and then isolate the faces or maybe the whole cat body itself and I'm going to uh, see you in the next step where I have the different uh, faces of the cats isolated together in a single uh, file maybe so here I have isolated a few more images of the cats mainly the faces and I put them together in a single file so that I can use them easily in the my pattern file so in order to create the pattern I need to go to file new and create mainly a square size document so let's say I think 5000 by 5000 would be too big uh, because this is a repeating pattern we can use a smaller size so let's choose this 3 by 3000 by 3000 pixels and 300 pixels per inch and uh, need background as transparent and everything else looks fine so let's click create now that our document is ready it's time now to bring out those images that we have just created into our main pattern file so first i'll choose this one that i have created earlier so i'll just simply drag and drop into the pattern file like this now it's time to use this new feature in the Photoshop and that is the pattern preview. For that purpose I'm going to go to the view and select this pattern preview. It gives us warning that if I use the smart objects it will give us some better results and that can be helpful if you want to you know, change the colors of the individual elements. Uh, but let's just ignore that for the moment and click OK. Now it is giving us the preview of this pattern so anything that is visible inside our this blue square shape is going to be repeated all around and we can zoom out and see how our pattern is going to look. So let's just zoom in and start placing these images at random locations. So I'm going to move it maybe at this side here and let's bring out other images that we have just created. Let's close this one so these are the different images that we just isolated and uh, let's bring out these cats one by one so I'm going to drag this one place it here 
and then we will place it at this corner so as we are in this pattern preview anything any new layer that we are going to create anything that we are going to bring in this document will be automatically you can say repeated on the outside of this boundary so let's bring out the other images one by one so now that all of our cat images are stacked together we need to move them on this you know different locations so that we can get a good looking pattern so i'm going to move this cat here and we move this cat at the top and i think i will need to scale it down a bit uh, you know because it was too big so let's bring it at this location maybe rotate it a bit you know, like this and maybe bring it at the bottom like this and that uh, doesn't look better so yeah this is looking fine we bring it here this cat uh, i think is going to be at this location pretty fine like this and we bring it below here and this cat is going to be on this corner now it's just about the positioning of these images at random locations and then trying to make them look good you can simply create copies of something for example of this cat for example i'm going to press ctrl j to create a copy of this and maybe bring a copy of this at this location like this and maybe bring it below this cat this is looking fine for now all right i think uh, we need to just move it this one a little bit and to create some space here and there and uh, let's just copy this one and uh, bring it the other side i think that looks fine and uh, for me the pattern is uh, looking fine now let's just create a background and then see how it would look so i'm going to select new fill layer so solid color and simply black color and i'm going to bring it at the bottom so this is looking fine i think i might need to change the colors of any particular layer individually and um, that i would decide maybe later on so yeah this is looking fine and our pattern is looking good now what we can do is that apply some kind of coloring but i would think uh, i would do it at the later stage and uh, for now this is pattern is looking good so what we need to do right now is that exit from this pattern preview but before we do that we need to create a new layer here so that our all of these different elements are fixed to that they are not moved um, accidentally so for that purpose i'm going to press this shortcut that is shift Control, alt and e so if you not, do not remember this short, shortcut simply press alt key or the option key and go to this uh, this bar in this in the layers panel these three bars and in there you are going to select this option and that option is going to be merge visible so that is going to create a new copy of the layer using all of these images in the same merged form so now let's exit this pattern preview by going to the view and then pattern preview and because we have created a new layer merged layer if we hide all of our background layers our pattern is still visible now this is looking fine and we can definitely use it in addition we can do is that simply colorize it change the contrast values anything that you want to do that totally depends upon you so i'm just going to apply maybe some colors we add a contrast some highlights something like that and then i'll show you in the final pattern view so finally i have applied a hue saturation layer and a contrast layer or just some colors and to make it more vibrant and just popping out the colors from this image now again we need to create a separate merge layer and because we have just uh, you know applied some kind of color adjustment so again i'm going to press shift control alt and e and it has given us a new merge layer now we can save it as a pattern tile so for that purpose i'll go to the edit click this define pattern option and we are name we can name our pattern cats simply click ok now we can use in our pattern in any of our print on demand templates let me open up that 
pillows and tote bags must be Amazon template and apply this pattern in that template. Okay, now that we have our pattern template open, we can simply go to uh, edit this object and select from this layer and a pattern. And we can select a pattern and this pattern that newly that we have just created is available here. So I'm going to select this one and our pattern is filled, uh, our document is filled with this pattern. And we can scale it down a little bit, maybe 56% maybe something like 60 percent would look good so we can again move it and place it at different location if we see fit and let's save it and see how it is going to look on the mockups so yeah mockups are looking good and they are looking interesting and that's how you can create seamless repeating collage style pattern from your pet animals from any images that you might want to use and uh, again and uh, this pattern this thing can be used with any kind of print on demand templates whether you want to use it on printful or whether you want to use it on redbubble or much by amazon now if you want to create advanced geometric style patterns i have created a kit a kit of more than 30 repeating style patterns and uh, i have already created a video on this channel i'll put the link in the card above and in the description below if you want to check that out uh, you can check that out from those links and that's all for now guys now if you found this video to be useful make sure that you like the video it will help me with the youtube algorithm to reach more viewers who want to see the same kind of content now if you are interested in learning online and learning more design skills you can subscribe to this channel it's totally free and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well and once again thank you for watching